Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. Yesterday I made a statement that it was the last channel. It would be informative. This is the last channel that is personal. Two different kinds of channelings we would give to groups before us. One is the kind that is a display of information given in love, some of it new, some of it review. And then there's the other kind. There's no real teaching, there is no real information. Instead, there's reflection. There's spirit talking to you. That's what we want to do now. Traditionally, at this time of year, all over the planet, there is a celebration of the end of an old year, the beginning of a new. In some cultures, you add to it a holiday season, a time of giving, reflection, family. This is the tradition of the earth. And it's a good time to talk about what I want to talk about. I want you to give yourself a present. And it's not easy. And before I tell you what that present is, I just want to do reflection. There are many listening to this. And this is for you as well but more personally for those who are in front of me now, who sit in the chairs and are hearing this live. There is reflection. And the reflection is about you. And it carries so much energy and questions. You're all so different. So unique. Just a few who sit in front of me, well known you are to God. Did you know that? There are so many who feel alone or let us say at least isolated. There are so many questions you would have about yourself. What's next? You question so many things. You wonder if you've done the right thing. If you've acted the right way. If you've made the right choices. You look a day ahead, two days ahead, a week ahead, more. You even question that. And there's various degrees of questioning. Some of you are very settled with who you are and who you're with, if you're with anyone. And then there are so many that are unsettled, even in this room. I wish I could take you back to a grander, a bigger picture. I want to tell you something that all pilots talk about. They say that no matter what the issues are at home or at work, that after they get into the sky, it all goes away if they can fly. There's an overview, a feeling of soaring above the issues, above the problems. It's euphoric to so many of them who all their life has said, just let me fly. What a feeling that is to be above it all. And for the hours that they can be in that craft, even if it would seem boring, there's just something about being above it all. 
It diminishes the problems. It puts them into perspective. So I want you to fly with me. One of the interesting things about being a human that we see and we love and we appreciate is you're not designed to remember much. And the reason for this is because if you could remember it all, you would simply fly. And you'd always know what we know. And that is why you're not allowed to remember the Akash past that perhaps of a few lifetimes. And you're not allowed to remember what came before and what become before that and before that and before that. But I want you to fly with me for a minute and this is for all of you. Some of you will participate and some of you will not. You are eternal and there was a time and I speak to the heart of your soul before the earth was formed when you were you and you watched all of this progress knowing what would take place that civilization would eventually occur life would happen and we were all together. Some of you hear my voice, although it's a human voice, you hear beyond that. And you hear the family that I am. Some of you have related to this family. You don't know why you're attracted to this. And I'm about to tell you why. Because we fly together. Can you pretend? And in that pretending, the intuitiveness of you is going to catch a feeling of remembrance, of being with family that you would call creative source, looking at a bigger picture of a planet in development. Some of you come and go from other planets in development. But this was the formation. The times before you were ever on another planet, when the, when the, when the universe was hot, when the galaxies were just putting themselves together, when the field of asteroids was still active and would crash, into those planets including yours because it was young before they were sorted out dissipated gravity had done its thing before the moon became the moon and we were there before time was time old soul and in that you knew in this beautiful form of love that you were, that there come a day when you would walk the dirt of this planet and you wouldn't remember. And that'd be all right with you. And the reason it's all right with you is because it's passing. In other words, no matter what happened on the planet, you would return to this form of being forever. Everything you're going through right this minute, human being, is so small compared to who you really are. And if you can fly with me for a moment, you will fly above everything that is you today. Everything you have right now in front of you that is frustrating. Can be undone. It's so small, it's so simple. It really is. Because you are the seeds of the creator. 
And if you can grasp this, even in a small way today, in your personality today, I'm telling you, you can be free of all of it. If you could look at yourself and understand you're not just worthy, you're above it all. All of it. No matter what you think tomorrow holds, you can soar above it. Every single one of you, including your partner, will take a last breath someday. Humans fear that last breath. And I want you to soar above that because it's not your last breath. <laughs> it's just the last one in that body. And you return rejuvenated and young and vibrant and ready to go only this time. I said it again. This will be the first time you rejuvenate as a human being in a brand new energy. And you will have things to remember that you never knew this time around. Death will have no sting at all except to the people you leave behind. And even they will have a renewed idea of what it all means because you can soar above it. You were here before the earth was the earth. <laughs> the millions of years that it took for it to develop, you were here. Time was not time. Some would say, well, what did I do? <laughs> during that time and I would tell you dear human being that's such a human question there is no doing when you're on the other side there is just love there is just the beauty of being and there's no time because there is no resting there is no activity there is no cycles of anything it's just the purity of being I can't explain it but you have been there. And there's part of the remembering I'm asking you to be and do just a little bit where you soar above everything that you are today. Some of you actually have said, I can feel the camaraderie, the family, the warm and fuzziness. There are so many light workers who are not warm and fuzzy. And that's who I want to talk to right now. You can soar above it. And the warm and fuzzy, let it come from us. Don't depend on other human beings to give you the sense of balance. Go inside and find us, the family of God. You're never alone. Let this holiday season and this turnaround be different because you've soared above everything, contrary to the reality of frustration and fear and the facts that give you that. Soar above them and for a moment, relax in the love of God. Relax. I want you to feel it because that's the real you, not the humanism that is pasted upon you for a few years at a time, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. It's going to be the end of fear and frustration and suffering. Humans are beginning to evolve into mastery. And the things that you are walking through now and have walked through in the past will slowly dissipate. And you're going to have a whole new kind of existence, even as a human being. The future is brighter than you've been told. Now, there are some potentials in 2017. And I want to warn you that some of them carry energies 
of fear. And they may be a surprise to you. In fact, they may put you on your heels. And you may actually question yourself. You may question your spirituality. These are wild cards yet to come. And the reason they exist is to put a stick in everything and stir it. And it's going to be in many kinds of forms. And when it takes place, I want you to remember this channel. I want you to fly above it. And I want you to smile and say, here it is. Just what Cryon said. Just what Cryon said. Then I want you to lean back and flow with it. Dear ones, your path on this planet is so important at this point in time. And if you're going to go through it in frustration, fear, and suffering, you're not going to be able to show any light to anybody. And the whole purpose of your existence at this moment, old soul, is to show others balance even when times are bad and balance when times are good. In other words, you will have a consistency of a spiritual countenance that people will see. You'll be able to laugh when others cannot. You'll be able to listen to those and help them just by the fact that you're balanced and they're not. They can be with you for a few moments and they'll remember, they'll want to come back and be with you again because somehow, some way, just being with you helps them. And this is the difference between the graduate and the newbie. The one who has been there and done that is so experienced they know that whatever happens is not the end. And you can get through everything because you can get above it. What is it that you don't want to hear, dear ones? And I'll tell you this. There'll come a time when it doesn't matter what it is. You can hear it all. There are good things coming. And in order to achieve some of the best things that are going to happen on this planet, there may be some interesting shifts. <laughs> and all that you have seen, even in the past month, has been about this. Take a stick, put it in things that used to be normal, and turn it vigorously. And out will come new ideas. Frustrations will turn into solution. You will see things you never saw before. There will be awarenesses that the old soul will start to see. And most of you, if you're hearing me now, will come to an agreement with yourself that you can't be phased. And that all things work together for not only the good of you, but the good of the planet. And that not only that, you are the light that has to shine when things are different. Humans don't like change. And if you can be a solid foundation, a lighthouse in the storm, People will see you and want to be with this, and you will help thousands. You're moving into the year of the one. Whenever you have new beginnings, there is change. Think of it as a clean slate, not a same old, same old. You're not going from one year to another. You're going from the old energy to something you might have never seen before. 
Are you all right with things you have not experienced yet? Channel after channel, we have told you that it is difficult for a human being to project what they have not yet experienced and yet be comfortable with it. And now we're telling you, old soul, that one of the attributes you have as you soar above everything, as you even get beyond the fear of death, as you start the lineage of mastery, one of the things you have is the ability to see new things and be comfortable immediately because you see through them into a future that is better. You see through them. If time is in a circle, as we have said before, that means that even the things you have never experienced before have to seem somewhat familiar to you in a way you cannot describe. This is your Akashic remembrance of having gone through these things once before, twice before, maybe even more, during that evolution of this galaxy. Go back with me. You're above it all. You're looking at this, the formation of the galaxy itself. You see that interesting phenomenon at the center and you smile because you know about the twins. In physics, we have told you about the twins. Nobody has seen the twins. They only see one. And there are two. You smile at the light that is, that is given and the beauty that is there in physical things. You smile at the quantumness that has never yet been discovered, which allows instant travel anywhere. You smile at what is going to be. You sense the future. There's millions of years away. And then you remember the last universe you were in, where you did it before. Is it possible, old soul, that in that foreverness that you are, that this whole galactic experience is just a tick in time. Boop. And that you'll do it again. And the entire reason why you're doing it is to lift the vibration of God itself. Every single time a world goes into graduation with free choice, you increase that which is the Creator's energy. God is God because of what you've done. It's so difficult to explain to you the reason for life, the reason for existence. What is it all about? You won't understand that. But if I told you all of it enhances the creative source that you are part of, is it all right if you don't know the rest of the story? You are part of the light that is increasing on the planet. What you go through, the planet knows about. Who you are, we know about. I speak to those listening now, and I say, get above it and feel us right now. And know that you are above it all. And that all things will be all right. If you are suffering right now from sorrow, for whatever reason, I want you to know that this is known by God. And the sorrow that you have can be diminished and dissolved by the love of God. Fear and sorrow and suffering goes away with light. It really does. And you got light. You just got to give above it all. Climb out of the hole and start to see the worthiness 
of who you are. You're back in your bodies. You're in 3D. The meeting is about to be over. You're going to climb in your vehicle and go wherever you go. And to you it may seem like it's really different than being in the channeling. And the invitation is this, a foot in both worlds. You can be driving your car and also be with God at the same time. You can be above it all and be in 3D at the same time. The new human being is going to have that experience. You walk in a reality that's every day. You do errands. You eat. You drive. You sleep. But you're not consumed with the issues. The issues, you're above it all. You deal with them. You solve them. You work the puzzle in total and complete peace because you know who you are, who you've been, and who you'll be. Can you grasp that as you move into the year of the one? That's the message. Human evolution is at hand, and it starts with the old soul. You've been there and done that, and you're moving into a place that is not uncertain because you've been there before, but boy, will it be different. <laughs> Smile through it because it doesn't have to be an issue or a problem. A beautiful wind is blowing. The wind of change, the wind of love, the wind of awakening and realization, the wind of peace. And some of you will feel it very soon and you can relax in the arms of who you are you can be encompassed and circled by the God inside you you can be alone and be with us and be together with all the other human parts of God that's family and that's who you are this is cryon all of these years before the shift, I really couldn't tell you these things that I say now because the shift was only a potential and we realized it together. And now the new information really starts to begin. Give above it all. Start to find out and feel the reality of a higher awareness of what is really inside you. That's enough for now. And so it is. <laughs>